Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 18 November 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly social media and products editor Simone Litka unpacks the criticality of the circular economy to climate resilience. Only 11% of waste from Africa's urban areas goes to managed landfills, with much of the rest dumped and often burned, dramatically impacting on human health. Without urgent action, this problem will worsen. But acting on waste will yield an economic benefit estimated at $8 billion. The engineering news features focus on civil engineering and construction, where a local steel product supplier supports the local civil engineering industry. And brewery and winery, where a beer manufacturer aims to brew a better world. The Mining Weekly features focus on copper, where the Copper Development Association of Africa says the world is unlikely to resolve the copper deficit soon. And iron ore, where insufficient capacity impedes sustainability. This week's business leader is Kathleen Bain, MD of Project Management Consultancy Nuvo Consulting. And as this week's cartoon shows, after significant research, lobbying and consultative efforts, the first concessional finance has started to flow towards ESCOM's plans to repower and repurpose those coal power station sites that are scheduled for retirement. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.